Greetings, guys. Um, I saw a couple of videos out of Young Chance today that were pretty disturbing. Um, not so much that he was calling to dox me. And the amazing thing is, Cyrex has heard my name, my real name, 100,000 times. He's seen me 10,000 times, and he just can't remember. He, see, he always refers to me as that old man. Um, for some reason, <laughs> you can tell this guy a million times. And it'll always just go in and out of his ears. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. He doesn't really uh, retain my name for more than 10 seconds, it seems. Um, but what disturbed me about that video was the fact that you were trying to lay claim to my intellectual property. What am I referring to? The Cyrax Nation. Essentially what I'm saying is the Cyrax Nation belongs to me. It was a brand that I created in a Discord on 720 of 2020. Greetings, chat. Uh, Spanky, sorry, fall asleep. No, I uh, little little ripped. Uh, when is I actually going to get over the fact that you own his brand? Man, um, I actually, you know, I'm, I'm glad you guys are as uh, enthusiastic um, about this plight because essentially I'm claiming that he is the Winklevoss twins and I am Zuckerberg. Let me share a little clip with you real fast here. Okay, there it is. All right, perfect. I think if your clients want to sit on my shoulders and call themselves tall, they have a right to give it a try, but there's no requirement that I enjoy sitting. One second. Back up one second. This goofball, that's you, Chance. But there's no requirement that I enjoy sitting here listening to people lie. You have part of my attention. You have the minimum amount. The rest of my attention is back at the offices of Facebook, where my colleagues and I are doing things that no one in this room, including and especially your clients, are intellectually or creatively capable of doing. Did I adequately answer your condescending question? No, Cyrex. You are a known thief. You are constantly trying to steal other people's work. Shadow Blade was a Canadian artist before you stole his name and likeness, and even his song, I Am a Monster. You know what? That's a good idea. I'm going to pull that up, Chance, because I'm not sure that everyone knows about this. Shadow Blade, I Am a Monster. Um, share, share screen here. Um, This is a song that Cyrax has claimed to have made. I am a monster. Song by Shadowblade. Let's hear it. Cyrax just claimed the song as his own and played it as if it was his own. And what does this have to do with Cyrax Nation being mine? Trying to establish a total lack of credibility and outright theft at every step of the way. You know, that's very anticlimactic, considering I don't have a uh, Spotify account. Napster. Still exists. I think you get the picture. This guy is not Cyrax. He is a completely different artist. So basically Cyrax is stealing his own identity. Cyrax is not Shadowblade. Cyrax is a lie. So when he claims at any point to own Cyrax Nation, just know that you can't take him at his word. Now, I'm going to look up Chance Wilkins. Um, I am a monster, sure. You know, I guess he's deleted it so many times. Yeah, probably should have looked into the ship beforehand. Um, does it sound like Cyrax to you?
I mean, Sh- Cyrax claimed that he's Shadowblade, and he's claimed the song I Am a Monster and played it as if it was his own. Um, it doesn't get any more outrageous as far as outright theft, and he, he doesn't understand. So you can tell him that Cyrax Nation belongs to him. He is a digital kleptomaniac. He cannot help himself. He's a compulsive art thief. I just don't think there's any stopping him. Um, I didn't see his video earlier. Uh, I wanted to react to it. Um, let me. Uh, okay, yeah. Just see what. Let's just see. Okay, right off the bat, uh, I haven't known Cyrax since 2017. Um, I don't think I've known him since before 2019. No, maybe 2018. I'm not 100% on that. I almost feel like I, I met him last year in August. So right off the bat, he's bullshitting. Um, one tick here. All right, right off the bat, he's looking great. What's up, y'all? It's one year I know who it is. Seems we have a very big problem on our hands with YouTube recently. Is anyone else having these problems with music, Bismarty? I mean, maybe I shouldn't answer that. Um, I guess, yeah, maybe I probably shouldn't answer that. Oh, shit, dude. Uh, Skull Kit. Dude, yeah, man. Um, here, let me throw this uh, link out there. Here, one second. Music Business Marty or Music Biz Marty or MBM or should I say... Nicholas. Dude, this guy's heard my name a million times. I, I don't know how he can't remember well, it, considering I'm his arch nemesis. Now, Marty. You, I saw your little videos earlier. I saw your little fucking videos that you recorded of me. Oh, okay, fair, fair. Making me look like shit. Sorry, Axe, you make yourself look like shit every step of the way, my guy. Yeah, let me, how do I post the streamer link? Uh, one second here. Um, settings. Do I just post it? Oh, here. Okay. I think I just. Right here, one second. Uh, how would I, can I, does this go to the chat here? You guys see that? Oh, hey, Rackington, how's it going? Um, yeah, uh, Skull Kid, I mean, you're definitely more, like, musically savvy than I am. Um, I'm not sure where, like, a loop pack is, uh, put a bunch together. Oh, shit. What up, Marty? How's it going, Skull Kid? Uh, it's it's fucking going. I'm I'm, I'm waiting. I, I'm I'm trying to buy a new guitar uh, amp VST, but I have to register it through my phone, and my phone takes like two hours to turn on after it's been dead. This fucking ah. iPhone batteries are trash. Yeah, they, they uh, turn to shit after a while. It's a uh, it's controlled obsolescence. They uh they put them on there. Uh, in- intentionally, so it's like, oh well, I don't want to buy a new battery. I gotta go buy a new phone. So, uh, but uh, yeah, no. Uh, with the music stuff, I found that odd as well because it definitely is out of Cyrax's depth of songwriting, at least from what I've seen of his other material. And the only thing I can assume from it is that he downloaded uh, a bunch of loops uh, and kind of structured them because you can get dubstep loop packs like that. that were all set at, like 140 BPM or whatever and just drag and drop them all together. Uh, but even then, it, it is odd. I, I, won't, I won't give you any, uh, any heat for, uh, for mistaking uh, that as theft, but as far as I can tell, it's, it is registered under his, uh, his name, which is oh, odd. Okay. And then, um, but Shadowblade is a completely different guy. Well, from what I could tell, um, when I was looking up Shadowblade uh, under that one word, it all leads back to uh, to, to chance, unless you found something else. Could you, do you have like oh a link? Oh my god! Whoa, like whoa! Label Bloodshot Records. Uh, wow! I stand corrected here. This really blew up in my face. Uh, well, the interesting thing yeah, about Bloodshot yeah. Records is it's a country and punk 
uh, label. I don't. I think Cyrus just came up with the label name, you know, as he does, and <laughs> didn't realize it was already taken. I've heard him play "I Am the Monster," or "I Am a Monster." Sorry, I don't want to disrespect him. As he, <laughs> man, I'm yeah, I ate too many edibles. I um, <laughs> uh, well. You know what? Uh, I almost feel like ending this. So Chance doesn't have the satisfaction of seeing this. You know, it's like a real flub here. Um, <laughs> um, hmm, that's, well, that's not good. Um, no, hey, Marty, guess what? Now I got you for defamation. You're gonna well, legally, I don't think you're. Marty. I'm not a lawyer, but I don't think uh, defamation. It, it, I don't think you'd have to say, like, I have 100% proof that this is a thing. And, and then, you know. Uh, but I don't think you need to worry too much about any of that. In yeah. honest, all honesty. Um, yeah, I mean, so if somebody hypothetically accused somebody of murder and made up evidence by one that says, and this was, this was great, he was saying like, um, he showed a screenshot of, of Jamie saying like, between them two, saying I have a headache. And that was proof that um, I, I somehow murdered her. It made no sense at all. Um, I, I was so like baffled. Um, you see, that could be considered, uh, you know, defamation. Not to Cyrax, not to Cyrax, but uh, yeah, the guy's definitely got it. Yeah, to I you, know. I would say, if anything, you have a case uh, for defamation. However, yeah. I will also say, and again, I'm not a lawyer, so yeah. What am I going to uh, do? Take his steering wheel from him? Well, the thing is, I was going to say, even if he somehow brought him to court, uh, yeah. I'm sure that whoever his, sta his his appointed lawyer would argue that he's not in a, a sound state of mind. Because, I mean, let's be honest. Well, there, there are no court-appointed civil attorneys, though. Uh, in order to sue somebody, you can't just be assigned somebody who will sue people on your behalf. There needs to be an interest on mm -hmm. behalf of an attorney, you know, and uh, I, I don't know. Um, it's It's pretty out there but i love legal cyrax chance wilkins esquire that is my favorite i love dealing with him on this and uh i look forward to discussing intellectual property with them um the truth is cyrax nation discord was started on 720 of 2020 mm. and i had designed all the images i had done all the networking i had done all the invitations i did all the maintenance although there was very little maintenance i put in all the work to build my brand cyrax nation and I don't know how he can rightfully lay his grubby little paws on it. Well, I mean, uh, did you uh, did you register like a copyright? I have not. I have not. However, I think that I am more entitled to it than he is. And if he wants to litigate over the internet, I am more than happy to do it with him. Otherwise, we can take it to the courts. Well, I think the problem that you and Cyrex would both. Um find trouble with uh, going forward for registering the name Cyrax. Is that it's already trademarked by Viacom? Uh, yeah, it's Mortal Kombat, right? Right, 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 right. But I made that, and, and listen, I was very thoughtful. I created two Cyrax discords, one with 1X, because that's what he was going by at the time. And I did it to one with two, no, I did it one with two Xs, and the second one was one with three Xs. So it's using Cyrax's way of getting around it. And the guy seems to know his opportunities and his advantages and, I believe that he has successfully circumvented the Viacom trademark. That is my personal punch. Mm. You know, even just going off of um, trademarks and legal shit, uh, Cyrex has kind of left himself open for a really easy uh, takedown method that really anyone uh, could do, uh, which is ban evasion, considering he's had his accounts uh, suspended before. Oh, yeah, you know, I don't. I like him too much to uh, to try to get rid of him, even, even for a moment. Oh yeah, me too. But I'm saying that's a thing that I think Cyrax hasn't taken into account. That if if someone were so inclined to, they could probably take his YouTube channel down easily for ban evasion. Oh, ban evasion. Oh, um, I thought you were saying like report him or something like that. You know, like I wouldn't want to. Well, no, I'm saying if someone wanted to, they could be like, you could report him for ban evasion. I'm not saying I want to, and I don't want that to happen. However, I'm saying that that's a, that's a big open chink in the armor, you know? Yeah, I hope nobody does that. <coughs> yeah, please don't do that. Don't take my Cyrax away from me. You know, I, I love him. I hate him. It's an interesting relationship. Um, you know, after what he said, it's become hate. But, uh, you know, I did try to be the guy's friend for a long time. Just 
I guess it went uh, a little sour and went a little off the rails. And uh, some things are unforgivable, in my opinion. You know, it's kind of where we stand. Yeah, I mean, I mean, accusing someone of murder without any actual evidence is a pretty big uh, uh, deal breaker when it comes to friendship. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, um, yeah, it, it definitely. And believe me, I, as much as he did, would have loved to have seen a race war, twenty twenty, um, but it just fell through. Some things are just kind of unacceptable. Uh, um, it is a shame. Race race wars would have been great. Yeah, Cyrex is the ultimate self-sabotager. Oh, absolutely. I mean, like, uh, it, 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 do you think at this point, you know, and I, I try to stay neutral on it, but I'm going to call it as I see it. Do you think that Cyrex's uh, d- delusion of ego uh, will ultimately be his undoing, not just on, in, on the internet, but in real life as well? Because that's kind of where mm-hmm. I'm seeing it. Well, I, I think in order to become undone, you have to be put together. Well, yeah, but I mean, properly. I guess what I'm saying is, is my 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 end game for Cyrex, at least what I think is going to happen, is, you know, once once his family dies and he runs out of places to stay, mm-hmm. and he doesn't have an an income. He's either going to be moved to like a, a housing place or he's going to end up homeless. And I, I don't do. want that to happen. But I I, I said that in my video. <laughs> Uh, almost assuredly, when Sally passes, you know, which I hope is a long time away from now, um, and uh, once she's gone, he's going to be put in like a group home. You know, he's going to freak out in there, and those people aren't the most well-adjusted individuals around, and he's going to get a, his head taken off of his shoulders. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, if you think about it too, it's going to be like a low-income housing area in Ohio, probably like in the city. And it, he's not going to get along, especially once he starts showing off his rap skills and drops a couple uh, n bombs. You know. Yeah, you know, honestly, I, I now kind of understand Sally's desire to keep him in the house. <laughs> like they tell, they've always told him he's there to protect the house, but they tell him to stay there because if he goes out, he could get like murdered. Well, that's that's the thing. So he lives in like a more city area, mm-hmm. I guess. Because I, whenever I hear Ohio, I just think of cornfields. So when like Heather was telling Cyrex not to go out because it's dangerous, I'm like, what is fucking corn's gonna get him? The children of the corn. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, yeah, I guess he's in like the city. It makes sense. But he yeah. does go out and scrap. That's true. Uh, there was a sound clip where he wanted to go out for a fucking walk, as he was saying, and Heather tried to grab him and say, it's, "But it's dark outside," and he defiantly escaped her grasp and said, "I don't give a fuck." Um, <laughs> I think that's the one we went over after you, uh, you left the other night, after you and Stretch both hopped out. We watched uh, the Heather one where it's him and uh, Heather yelling at Jamie. Ah, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't you know. This Stretch guy, I really don't know much about him. Like this Joker laugh stick, I think. You know, I mean, it was late. I'm there to talk about Cyrex. As far as height, I mean, yeah, I'm five foot two. I am officially five foot two. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, Stretch does that to everyone. It's yeah, just, it's just, uh, I mean, thing. yeah, I, I I think he wanted attention, um, and you know, I think more people are interested in Cyrax than the Joker stick. I know I am. You know, I don't know what you guys do over there all the time, but uh, you know, that's fine. Um, well, the thing is, is that like with with um with uh with he jazz uh like uh he jazz as a show uh it's a uh, half ear juice and stretch. That's what that stands for. Uh, mm. So that's their weekend show. And then uh, Ear Juice and I do Skull Juice during the weekdays as a side music show. Mm. Uh, but Stretch still has permission to come in and, you know, whatever. We, we, we always take open calls anyway if anyone wants to hop in. Uh, so yeah, that, that's what that's all about, if you're wondering why you just, like, popped out of nowhere. No, yeah. I, uh, yeah, I don't, I, mean, I don't know anything about the guy. He seems to have, like, a disdain for me. Literally know nothing about the guy. Um, <laughs> it's fine. It is what it is. Um, he's a good guy. Uh, once you get to know him, he just fucks with people a lot. Yeah, I mean, oh, greeting stretch. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 <laughs> like okay, come on. I, I, sh- I chilled it out in my Discord, by the way. If you're wondering, I uh, chilled it out. What do you mean chilled it? Like, out? like your stream. I put it in my Discord. Oh like, yeah, no, okay, 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 yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, no, I mean, I I was happy to have you on. It, it it was nice to have you stop by. 
Yeah, no problem. Yeah, my pleasure. Um, yeah, dude, the Cyrax lore is is legendary. Um, you know, I, I I do wonder though, like, what uh, I would love. It would never happen, but I would love to get an interview with uh, what Sally is his grandmother. You know, I yeah, I used to speak with Sally a fair bit. Um, back in the days when they had their original house phone and then their subsequent two house phones before they just scrapped it all together. And, you know, she's a very sassy lady, even when you call her during the daytime. Um, uh, there were some times where she kind of got through to me and uh, was like, listen, I have this little mutant boy, you know, <laughs> where else is he going to go? You know, like we're trying to get some sleep here. Um, just, you know, and there weren't unreasonable requests. Yeah, I mean, you know, from what I can see, from the bits I've seen, where she seems like a really uh, level headed, given the situation type of person. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think we'll ever get that interview that I really want because of Tyler uh, telling her to suck his cock. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, uh, but I would love to hear her uh, takes on the music uh, that you know her her grandson or whatever makes and all that. Well, the, the amazing thing is, um, the other day he was, we were on like one of those Facebook thingies, and he was running around through the house like li they sleep literally right above his steps, um, so there's no way they don't hear him howling throughout the night. Mm. Um. When he says that he, he takes care of his family, basically he agitates them all throughout the evening and makes it so they can't sleep. <laughs> well, there was a video that I think that we went over where uh, Sally was like, listen, me and um, whatever are going to uh, be taking a nap, so don't come in. And we all know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> even, yeah. even if he, he didn't realize that it's connotations for what, you know, it is. Uh, he, he he still, despite her taking a nap, is still screaming and fucking doing this shit. I'm like, dude, like, I, I think I said this before. I'm like, dude, like, when I record, I always, like, I live with my parents, too. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hey, guys, I'll be recording for, like, an hour. I don't wait till they go to take a nap <laughs> and just go, yeah. Well, yeah, it's not even just recording, too, because he spends all of his free time away from the studio Screaming at people on the internet, so, like it's literally an all day long thing. Where <laughs> I, I think he's honestly driven Sally insane. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I can see that. I, you know, one of the things I said that I think would help, uh, not just the recording quality of his uh, material, but also mm -hmm. uh, Sally's sanity, is uh, <laughs> lining the walls with foam uh, and 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 soundproofing the uh, room. And you know, it, it would it would help the recording quality, and it would uh, kind of muffle some of the uh, the howls from the goblin. Yeah, yeah I, I would definitely buy that over that hundred dollar steering wheel thing he's got going. Well, the thing is, is you don't even need to buy it. A lot of um, people who can't afford like foam, and, and foam is not that expensive to begin with. But say you don't have forty bucks to shell out, you go to McDonald's and get a bunch of uh, cup holders, and you put them up on the wall. It does the same thing. Hmm. That's an old uh, trick from my old days when I was really broke in high school and I started recording shit. And uh, it, it's cheap, it's effective, and you just pop them up. Uh, you can you can get a shit ton of them too if you just ask, because they have a million in like backlogs usually. Uh, so yeah, it, it, it would be super cheap. You just go to a McDonald's or something, you know? Yeah, I don't know if you know this. Um, yeah, DG Allen pointed this out. I was thinking of it. Um, Sally isn't like the calm, peaceful one. There was this, and you can look into it on, on the Cyrax lore uh, on Classic and Canada channel, I believe it is. Um, he, he uploaded uh, this night where the local drug law and Cyrax were at odds. And uh, he started walking over on Lloyd Street down to Cyrax's house. And, um, you know, as it escalated, uh, he eventually said he was in the area. I guess he said he was at the door. That much is it's up for debate. You know, each side has their story. But um, Sally felt disrespected by the local drug law and got Heather and Cyrex in her van and went around looking for him. Is there a video archive of that on, like, the Cyrex archive or anything? 
Yeah, there. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that for you right now. Um, Hell yeah! I'm actually gonna pull that up. Um, you know, if you think Sally's a reasonable woman whatsoever, you couldn't be further from the truth. She is as crazy as Cyrex is. Well, I said reasonable given the circumstances. I suppose you know, there's gonna be some craziness that seeps in. Oh God! Oh shit! I don't fear nobody. I don't fear weapons. Oh wait, hang on, hang on, I don't second. fear death. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, I'm gonna put off this today's Cyrex reaction to go briefly uh, to go back into. Um... Yeah. By the way, let me know if I'm derailing the show. I just saw the comment. Wait, I'm, 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 I'm stoned as fuck. There is no set. You know, I, I was going to clean intellectual property, which I still will do. Um, Shadow Blade, Cyrex. Okay, they're the same guy. I guess that was some faulty uh, information there. Um, I think that's actually the one instance I've seen of Cyrex actually properly uh, copyright registering his shit because it it all links back to Chance, the Spotify, the Apple Music, everything on that. So I think he got someone to do that for him. Uh, here, let's, let's... Y'all can point a fucking gun in my head and I'll fucking sit there and laugh at you like a little bitch you are. Yeah, definitely. If you love you Cyrex, you gotta check out Flash no Games Camera action. Channel. Or... Oh yeah, no, I, I know, I know, classic. Yeah. Oh shit, Carlos, what's up, buddy? The fight of the century, Juggalo John versus Cyrax. It started out with so much promise, but we were left with a horrible <laughs> case of blue balls. It seems that the police might have been called before we were able to reach a satisfactory conclusion. But let's see what started this fight to begin with. And to Juggle John, the little pussy that never shows up. You know, it's amazing. Um, Cyrex considered himself a juggalo, but all of the juggalos can't stand him. Um, you know, I, I, I really wonder, I'm looking at his fridge there, and I wonder if, like, Sally puts up his art pieces, like, print out on the fridge. Um, mm. I don't see any there, but I mean, maybe now that he's a, a certified, uh, famous uh, visual artist. That's true. He probably actually stole the art on his fridge from other people's fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, made this peace sign. <laughs> I like seeing Blast and Cyrax um, right eye level right here. That's a nice touch, too, as far as the background. You're all fucking talk, little pussy. You say you live four blocks from me. Where the fuck you at? <laughs> you never fucking show up. Every time I call you out, you never show up. And you're gonna get my ass if you sing in the streets? Wrong answer, dude. Wrong fucking answer. You're just a little bitch troll that likes to run his fucking mouth. And that's the same for all y'all motherfuckers that like to talk shit about me. My girl in our situation. Yo was this during Heather? Like yeah, Heather, Heather. It was winter of last year. So Heather, correct? Yeah. Okay. You know, I, I I said this before. You know, say what you want about Cyrix, man, but he he gets around. He's a ladies' man. Yeah, <laughs> you know, we got a new girl. Um. Oh yeah, an interesting development. You know that uh, Alice woman who he's talking about with the fungal infection who he's. I don't know how invested in this you are. Wait, wait. I thought I thought Heather gave him the fungal infection. That is also true. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's up for debate. Uh, he, it's an it, epidemic. <laughs> it's true. Um, whose side do you take as far as who's at fault? Heather, um, with the uh, lack of ability to clean herself due to obesity, or Cyrax for his known disdain for hygiene? Eesh. You know, uh, speaking of uh, not being able to clean yourself for the hygiene, you know anything about Amberlyn Reed? No, I can't say I do. Uh, Ear Dudes runs a channel with his girlfriend where they cover Amberlyn Reed, and uh, she's this uh, really, really big lesbian who uh, abuses animals and uh, can't clean herself uh, or go to the bathroom properly. And uh, her and her lesbian lover uh, just kind of make videos, and I think – I think she used to do mukbang or mukbang or some shit like that. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I've heard uh, it. but it, it, it's fucking awful. And she, uh, her vagina exploded. <laughs> what does that even mean? It exploded, <laughs> like uh, her entire vagina just kind of, spe like, it 
the insides of her vagina came out and blood came out of it. And she posted the pictures to social media. <laughs> and she's also lying about having cancer. I mean, there was a woman in the juggalo community. And mind you, I'm not a juggalo. Um, I don't know why I uh, hover around. I mean, there's a lot of low cows. Um, but there's this woman who has this, like, this, I'd have to send it to you, but it's like this brown anus that she thought it would be a good idea to put in discords. Hmm. It's like a brown piece of chewing gum. Or, it was, I mean... If you're uh, if you're interested, I posted the channel that Ear Juice does, where he kind of curates the lore. It, you don't have to watch it on stream, but like when you get a chance, it's 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 fucking fascinating, but it, it's also just disgusting. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I don't know. Um, as far as that sort of thing, uh, have you ever heard of, like Sagittarius Shoddy? No, who's that? Oh, oh. Wait, wait, is that the girl who uh, got? Like uh, a bunch of Somalians to come in her eye and gave her like fucking gonorrhea in her eyes. Yeah, yeah, that's the yep. one. Yeah, now I, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Ugh. Yeah. Who is more repulsive between Amberlynn Reed and uh, Sagittarius? Oh, it's it's tough, man. It's it's really tough. Uh, I'd say Sagittarius just because, like, at least like Amberlynn is like not mobile so she can't spread degeneracy around yeah that chick is like act actively like hurting society true um yeah like young there's a bunch of young girls in sagittarius's chat like who look up to her being like you know the most bottom tier prostitute imaginable getting like 30 bucks to get tagged by a couple of somalians at the same time um it's just pretty disgraceful this is what happens when we won World War II. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Could have fixed all of this. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it's all right. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so let's get to this fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to show you Sally. Um, I back everything. I she was, like, chasing them around. One day later, John must have seen this video. Watch what happens next. Oh, it's mostly just a bunch of bullshit talking. Uh, the camera. Because, yeah, it's him walking on the street. Uh, we ain't going nowhere. He's, he done went up to the front yard. I mean, isn't most of Cyrex's bullshit talking? <laughs> yeah. But, but there's a moment where they were, they were in Sally's van driving around looking for him. Yeah, after talking very recklessly. Oh. You said... Talks all this shit, and finally someone calls up. Damn, running for your ass. Cat. Phone gas ain't show up, you fucking coward. Where, where you at? You said there was oh, police shit, slice where you were at? There's no police here at all. I'm right here, fuck boy. There's you no police here at all whatsoever. You're a fake ass. You're a coward. You're a fucking liar. You ain't no fucking fighter. You're a pussy. There's no cops here. So there you go. Bye. Can we play that video back real quick? Yeah. Yeah. Pay Sir, attention I at could. the beginning. Pay I attention. Could. Ready? Yeah, okay. This was up for debate. Um, <laughs> uh, some people thought that Cyrax, Sally, and Heather were setting up a trap for Juggalo John to come by and that there were police in the background. They say that, like, these lights are, are headlights or something like that. Like, there was some giveaway the police were in the area. Right here behind <laughs> the building. Go, keep going. Well, I mean, you know, goblins, man, they're, they're, they're sneaky. They like to set traps. That's that's what they're known for. Do you believe uh, Juggalo right John here? here or, uh... No, keep going. Uh, Damn. Yeah. Do you see any police lights? Uh, I do not, but it's hard to tell because of the quality. Also, yeah. like, my, my, my name and my text message is, like, right across the screen, so I can't see, like, half of it. Ah, sure. Right there, yeah, right there on the left. On, I'll get it. I'll try and get it on the middle of the screen. And that's the one that had his lights on the first time. So, oh, right there. Wow, yeah, wow. Right there. I don't really there know. You go, yeah. That's why you can never trust the juggle. I mean, the, it also requires the Cyrix. We have to put the thought in. You know, or... thought. <laughs> good day. How are you Hello. doing? Kid? How's it going? Good day, good day. A small <clears throat> man. In fact, he's actually owed money by Cyrax. 
Wait, so wait, Cyrex owes Schmeckle? Uh, by the yeah. way, it's just Yes, unfortunately, um, for almost almost a year now. I think coming up in December, um, it'll be a year now. Um, made a wager on a bet, uh, fair and square. I won, and uh, refuses refuses to come clean on his word. Um, I honestly don't remember the terms. Um, well, um, the terms were um, as as you may or may not know, Cyrax is a uh, very live wire. Sometimes he can be very hot headed. I told him that he um, he could not, you know, he could not get upset with anybody, yell at them, or uh, you know, just he couldn't. He just had to be a civil person for a week uh, towards everybody, and you know, just act and be, you know, have a normal conversation with people. And um, I believe not even less than twenty four hours later, he uh, came into a live stream screaming at me and you and uh, Miss Schmeckel. Uh, it, was, it was crazy. Now that you get into it, I kind of recall, or I don't know if this was a bet with Champ. But there was a little bit of time where you were questioning if he was going to be able to do it. Right. You know, I had uh, I had always thought about making a bet with Cyrax, a musically uh, related bet, that I would love for him to do a song mm -hmm. or a couple songs, and for that entire album or whatever he's going to record it as to not use <coughs> motherfucker. To not use motherfucking, motherfucker, yeah, motherfucking. Uh, yeah. Like the uh, better challenge would be like a freestyle, like because you have to think quickly off of your uh, your mind. And you know what? That's very funny you mentioned it because I've also wanted to do the same with him. I actually wanted to have a rap battle with him myself. Uh, me not being a rapper, but uh, you know, and and one of the terms would be that no one can use the first one to use the word motherfucker loses. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean it's definitely one of those words, and I've. I've caught myself doing this. I'm not a rapper, but I, I do like vocal recordings and writing lyrics and stuff. Right. And, you know, I've caught myself that I fall on certain words quite a bit, but Cyrex, like, like, that shit, like he's missing fucking both his legs. Yeah, yeah that's his go to. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, like he's missing his shoulders. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Um, yeah, he's very reliant on every single day. He likes saying Conor McGregor a lot. Yeah, day and grave. Put you in your grave every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, says so I'm gonna put you in a noose a lot of the time. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, interesting connotations between that and race wars. <laughs> the <laughs> day in the rope when I was really looking forward to that. Uh, as Mario will tell you, I had a couple t-shirts. I was getting t-shirts and hats made up, and uh, the, 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 I, I, there's the, there's probably even more money he owes me because I, I started this process and. Oh, it's, just, it's just when does it when does it end with this guy like seriously i was so excited to see that happen too. oh man that was great I, I was really looking forward to it um I, like i haven't seen a good competition in a while you know no sports with covid and oh man i was really looking forward to it and just the tension between both sides they've been going at it like cats and dogs you know tyler and cyrax you see, initially with me and uh, Cyrax, we had beef, but I'm trying to be the most like neutral party because it's better for the show. Uh, I'll still say my piece on it, but I don't go at him. The only thing that pissed <clears throat> me off was the Zentrax thing, man, because I, I I deal with that shit as producer all the fucking time. <laughs> <People stay. coughs> Excuse me. There, there are two things they don't play with. That is money and deceased loved ones. Um, you know, I don't think it's unreasonable to request that Caitlin foot Cyrax's gambling bill. Yeah. You know, um, speaking of uh, music stealing stuff, you know where actually most of like uh, false copyright claims come regarding like music that like you may be an independent artist or <laughs> fucking India. Huh. I've gotten like at least nine Indian producers claim my songs and have had to dispute them. It's fucking weird. Oh, that makes sense. That makes a really sense, though. That's like where all the scammers are. Uh, that's where yeah. all the people. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, but yeah, it's too bad you have to deal with that. Uh, well, th what they do is they like will copyright claim your stuff, and then you can dispute it. But then they'll wait the longest amount of time, and then eventually they'll let it go. But it's just annoying. I mean, thankfully I'm not monetized, so it doesn't really matter either way. But they probably just do it to everyone, even yeah. like anyone in like the one k and under market. You know, yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it is what it is. But with Cyrax taking uh, Zentrexes, and then he was, despite what he says now, he was planning to sell that. I took uh, exception to that because that was just uh, kind of scummy. He, he took one of your your uh, beats. 
No, Zentrex. Oh, Zentrex. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I mean, he's been caught numerous times of claiming uh, music, art uh, to be his. Uh, he's he's tried to he's tried to prove himself, for, uh, you know, uh, correct, but he's failed many of times as well. Um, it's just sad. I don't I don't get it. Like, why doesn't he just uh, maybe kind of throw in the towel here? I mean, he's been caught many of times. I mean, I'm kind of glad he doesn't. I really give the guy gumption for. For continuing to go on like he does, like he's got a lot of fight in him, a lot of heart, but uh, he just needs to direct his energy maybe elsewhere. Um, I, I believe personally, but you know who am I? You know who am I to say? Who, who am I to say? He's been in the game for eleven years, and he's on the verge of his big break. He's been on the verge for eleven years, don't you know? Well, he had a, a million dollar contract with uh, I believe Machiavelli Records, and uh, yeah, that non existent record they fell, fell through. I don't know if it's this video right here, but he said that – I couldn't believe it. He said that Music Biz Marty ruined a, a deal I had with a major record label. And, you know, I'm like, when, when the fuck did that happen? Like, what yeah. label? I, I believe he said a day or two ago his life was on track just two weeks ago, and then uh, and then it's, everything just fell apart. Um, I, I told Mich- uh, I told somebody that, and they just laughed. They, like, his, his life was on track, and now, now it's just back to fucking square one. Um, I, I don't get it. Going on to what Cyrix was saying, uh, that he and Caitlin are working things out. Uh, what's the status on that? <laughs> um, not, I think, not true. Yeah, not I true. think he's probably trying to, and you know, she's she's probably uh, wanting to get away from it. But I mean, as you know, he's probably he's the type of person. If I can't if I can't have you, no one can. You know, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm kind of worried for her. Uh, he did put out a bounty on Marty, uh, saying that him and Caitlin are working together to put him behind bars for being a big old cyber bully. Hmm. Well, uh, you know, it, I, he's heard my name a hundred thousand times. It's amazing that he can't retain it. Um, it's almost offensive in a way. Um, he still thinks I'm an old man. He calls me like this and up, you old geezer. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Um, if yeah. I had, if I had, a, I'm sorry to interrupt. I didn't mean to cut anybody off. Yeah, if, I, if I had a twenty dollar bill for every lawsuit that he's threatened Marty with, I'd probably be able to pay his debt off that he owed me. I, I, I know at least the five that he's threatened Marty with uh, with lawsuits uh, since I've been watching him for about a year or two now. Oh man, I wish he could do his legal research online. I really wish he could like walk us through his process. You know, I actually put him on to a an internet lawyer that I like named Nick Ricada. <laughs> and he thought that I was like friends with Nick Ricada. I was like, no, hit him up. Uh, he'll, he'll help you out. Uh, mm. If you don't know Nick Ricada, he uh, he covers the Vic Mignana case that's going on. I have no idea what that means. I, you know, uh, I'm sorry. I don't either. I, I I'm kind of ignorant to that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm all in. I'm sorry. Rex. I, Vic, Vic Mignogna is a voice actor, and he was falsely accused of like raping people and shit. Oh wow! And, and like, <laughs> it, it, he was a an anime voice actor, for, like Full Metal Alchemist and shit. Like oh, that. nice. Okay, yeah. I, I, you know what I mean, all right, all right, all right, all right. I mean, it's Hollywood. I mean, so many people have been brought up with. Uh, yeah, I've even thought uh, personally about maybe putting a couple lawsuits out there against some people, but you know, it probably wouldn't work. But um, well, you never know. You never know. No, I'm just I'm just kidding about that, obviously. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's Hollywood. Everyone's getting hit with these crazy lawsuits, you know. Some of them true, but I don't think with Vic because he's like super Christian, like, and he seems right. genuine about it. Yeah, I'm just gonna go mute real quick. I gotta do a bunch of typing. Yeah, no problem. Sure. Yeah, uh, Marty, I think it's just uh, disgusting what Cyrus right. has um, been doing here. Yeah, yeah, definitely a real last Artillian Lou Grew, real scumbag, dirt ball. Um, yeah, I, I personally think that he knew he was gonna lose the race war. And had to find a way out of it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we've talked about the schmeckle. Um, yeah, obviously, just a real little gobble. Um, I really, yeah. It's. It's. I'm surprised he him said well, himself is not locked up for some of the crazy stuff. He's like, uh, to be uh, honest with well, him. No, I mean, there's the First Amendment. You know. Um, yeah, the death threats. Like nobody really takes that shit seriously. He's like a little freak. You know, I'm not too worried that he's gonna. Kick my teeth down my throat as he likes to say. Right, right. Um, I just personally don't like the way he talks to and treats women. Uh, I'm not like a, uh, I'm not like a uh, feminist or anything like that. But uh, I think it's just disgusting, personally. Um, um, are you talking about with 
Caitlin or Heather and his grandmother? I would just say women in general, the way he talks to them and about them. Uh, just, yeah, well, I mean, I'm sorry to even bring her up, but even like just like the first exposure with like Jamie, like the way, oh my God, like some of the things he said, the, he punched, he wanted to punch Heather instead, he punched the door. Like the guy's crazy. Yeah, he definitely can't control himself. And as far as ruining the best two weeks of his life, I alerted his family to Cyrax's capability for destruction and turmoil. Um, they should be aware. Um, I, I, I'm really hoping he doesn't live close to them, or they can get, uh, you know, she can get, um, you know, in contact with them, like uh, personally. Oh, I'm just checking my lotto numbers here. I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted. Uh, you know, you Daily three looks like it was seven six three R. What is that? Three three three. Daily four fifty six forty two. Hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, that those aren't my numbers. Triple three, uh, fifty six forty two. Yeah, no, not mine. Uh, <laughs> maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, Cyrex is just, uh, I, I don't know, man. I just, uh, I think he would have a bit more respect for women uh, being raised by his grandmother. And, uh, you know, I thought well, he'd raise them right. She seems like a real nice lady. You think Shelly's a nice lady? Uh, I mean, to put up with him and all his yeah, uh, right. shit, I would definitely say so. I mean, she yelled at him a little bit, but I mean, uh, you know, I, I'd say she's pretty nice. But again, she did drive him to go fight Juggalo John. So, uh, you know. There, there's that. Yeah. Um, um, did you ever speak with her back in the house phone days? Uh, I did. I did quite a few times, actually. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, She's I, of a kind. You know, I was a little bipolar with her, but the times I was nice, she was actually quite uh She was quite nice <laughs> to talk to. I actually kept her on the phone for about 15 minutes one day when she was uh, doing some dishes. So. Um, I used to yell at her, make my monkey dance. Make my monkey dance. And... Uh, you know, he wouldn't, he wouldn't come on and dance, but he'd come on and yell for a little bit. Oh my God. Hey, uh, I'm sorry. No, you're good. You were so good. Welcome uh, back. Uh, Marty, did you see the video calling all the Cyrax Nation? Yes, I did. Yeah, that was just posted not too long ago. I actually came across that myself. Yeah, that's what I was referencing when uh, he was uh, talking about uh, getting as much dirt on you as possible. <laughs> yeah, they want, they want his name, his email, yeah, his dude, address. He's, he's like, wow. All a million times. It's incredible he retains none of it. Um, and I think that speaks a lot about his mental capacity, to be honest. Yeah, what is he planning to do? I mean, yeah, um, to expect him to learn lessons or have like a conscience it's i think it's just beyond him um if he did obtain your information marty uh do you think staley would drive him to your house uh <laughs> i would i would like nothing more <coughs> it, would, it would make my my wildest dreams come true really what oh, if it wasn't put on film but yeah i know i guess maybe not never mind um so yeah um I mean, according to Cyrex, he grew up about an hour away from where I live now uh, in Watertown, New York. Really? Uh, I don't which, know at all. When he said that, I thought he meant um, Onionville or Onion Town, uh, because Onion Town is literally an inbred <laughs> town of inbred onion farmers. I'm not even joking. Mm, kind of looks, looks like an onion. onion. They'll um, fucking, yeah, that's what I was like, oh, well, that makes perfect sense. But then he was like, oh, it's Watertown. So, okay. That's a pretty good assumption. I mean, that's, a, that's a safe assumption. Yeah. Uh, mm. Onion, Onion Town's cool. wild, man. If y'all don't know about that, you should look it up. They'll fucking kill you if you drive down the road that leads to the town. No really? Problem. Yeah, they shot at me and my cousin when we were going there. Like, what, what's going on that, uh, going on over there that they, they uh, don't like outsiders they literally only fuck the own their own family and uh they grow onions <laughs> that's that might, it that might be a possibility that he may be from onion town no i know he's from washington florida alaska ohio and i think there's one that i'm missing but i don't believe it was new York. I, I think you got them all yeah washington alaska ohio florida I believe that's it. Yeah, I'm, my main point was just to, to watch this. I haven't watched it today. I'm kind of here. curious to see what so the fuck it is. Is this new? Yeah, I, I didn't watch it yet. Okay, sure. Let's check it out. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're good. 
I'm gonna tell everybody about all the shit you've done to not only me, but to other people. Like, <laughs> like who? Okay, let's hear this. This yeah, this will be rich. Now let's start from the very beginning here, so you guys can get a good understanding of how me and Marty began this whole jumbled up fuck shit. <laughs> See, in 2017, I started. A- I don't think it's been that long, has it, Michael? Um, I believe I came across him late. Tw- um, what year is it? Twenty nine? Yeah, I think I came across him. Not, not th- I'd say maybe twenty eighteen. Yeah, I th- eighteen or like nine, early nineteen, maybe. Uh, I think I think it was late twenty eighteen to be honest. Which is- yeah, definitely not that long. I wouldn't say. Yeah. Record label with one of my best friends and little brothers, Ian Duxworth, aka. Bratley. Wait, wait to dox Bratley. Sarax, <laughs> like right off the gate. Just I mean, he he did that unintentionally the other day with Crypt K, his real name. <laughs> like, yeah. Just threw it out there, even though he didn't mean to do it. Yeah. Uh, and he, he'll tell Crypt K afterwards, like, you should thank me for this. Like, I'm promoting you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was talking about Michael Cash. I, I mixed him up. Sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. no I'm just, 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 just kidding. Cyrex has said he gave um, everyone a career. He gave you a career. He gave Heather a career. Heather's thriving internet career. What does he mean by a career? I guess he thinks that because they make videos on YouTube, they're trying to do it as a job instead of just using it as a site. Huh. So he can give everyone a career but himself. <laughs> <laughs> no, he has the best career, man. Hmm. Yeah, there's like a I forgot what it's called. There's like a body of water that like all life comes from. Uh, like he's the starting point of all things YouTube, I guess. Or at the time he was known as Alien Isle. Yeah, to my little brother. Let's get it, bro. Mm, I like the same. So was he just wait? Was he wearing like non-prescription glasses? Does he do that just for a look? I, I would assume so because I, I, he doesn't require them because I don't. Yeah, he very rarely wears them. So the I ski wouldn't. goggles are his prescription glasses. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking no! I think he does that to seem uh, like he's in business mode. In- intelligent. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. An, an intellectual and. No, they're like the ones like you buy at like CVS. You know, um, yeah. they're not prescription. I'm sure. But they're pain, but it's okay. They're probably Sally's. But, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm not. I'm spilling the beans on this fuck bag. Damn. That way everybody knows to avoid him. Oh, it's fair. Who spilled beans? You guys seen the lighthouse? Lighthouse? Yeah, the new movie. Uh, it came out like last year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. No, no. Oh, dude, watch it. There's a great scene where you talk about spilling yeah, beans. We decided to form the record label, but not records. And as you guys know, it did very well for the first couple of years. It did very well. We were releasing music videos, releasing music, um, doing the Chill with the Homies or Chill with the Boys podcast. It was super cool. Time. Even got a few shout outs from some major artists, man. Hmm. Like some like, major underground what? artists like Buckshot. Never heard of them. I met Ian in 2017 form the record label Bloodshot Records. The, t- the bomb going off? What is that? <laughs> and as you guys know, it did very well for the first couple of years. It did very well. We were releasing music videos, releasing music. Ring doorbell. We were doing the chill with the, chill with the homies or chill with the boys. The water heater has evolved yeah. into a time bomb. Right, one time, <laughs> for some major artists, man. Like some oh, oh, underground oh, like oh, I wanted to explain something. When he mentioned Buckshot shouting him out, Buckshot is a rapper, singer guy, and Cyrex thinks that him mentioning the character from Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I know. I remember that. Yeah, he mentions him in the com. Yeah, because he said he's capturing people like on the net, and because Cyrex in the Mortal Kombat game uses. Yeah, the net. but well, Cyrex, okay. there you go. At least you got the bro. I mean. I mean, as a Mortal Kombat fan, I was—I caught that immediately. But I'm like, yeah, dude, he's definitely not. I'm not even a Mortal Kombat it. fan, but if you're gonna name yourself, like, that's like if me, if someone makes a song like about Skull Kid from Majora's Mask, I'm like, I got a shout out. Oh, 
like you no know, it's like no dude it, it, if you take your name from a popular uh like pop culture franchise right it's, exactly it's, it's like me it's, naming myself pokemon yeah or pokemon something you know, yeah. the polls. Mm. anyway that's that explanation that was super dope well, I'm glad at least you got that too. So, guys, I'm fighting for my life here. I know, man. Um, you might want to get you know check into a motel, yeah, Marty, and maybe stay with a friend. Yeah, you gotta think. You gotta think, you gotta think that I'm I'm getting at it from all fucking sides of this guy. I'm going to be arrested. I'm going to be sued. And I could possibly even be killed. Maybe get a rent a car. You know, you just switch your vehicle. <laughs> yeah. See um, what you don't what you don't understand, Marty, is that Cyrax is the deep state. He's all three. He's judge, jury, and execution. <laughs> Maybe shave your beard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get a different look. Dress up like a lady. <laughs> yeah, pull a CPN. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like, yeah, no yeah. problem, man. Like, I'll hold it down. And I'll do the podcast. No fucking problem. And it was back when Google Hangouts was a thing. This is on Google Hangouts and shit. He was doing his own thing. I was doing my own thing. <clears throat> Who's you talking know, about? I was taking over the podcast. Uh, Br- uh, Ian or Bradley, Bradley I guess. Oh, oh, yeah, with the I, I know. I, I had to take a second, too. I thought he was talking about you for a second, Marty. I'm like, wait, huh? Yeah. Uh, hanging with the homies podcast. Which you guys all know about, which you guys are all aware of. Michael Sarax assumes that people has any idea what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> you, you know what's interesting though is that I've thought about this. You know, guys like Cyrax and Chris Chan and all these like internet like mm-hmm. dudes, we know more collectively about their routines and their mannerisms and what they're like than like George Washington. Mm-hmm. Isn't that fucking weird to think about? Like certain historical figures we know less about. Like fucking, or even like think about like okay, we don't know. We know Justin Bieber as like a his main music or whatever, but we don't know what he's like in person. But we know a jack ton of shit about Cyrax. I imagine Cyrax and Napoleon have a lot in common. Uh, they're both <laughs> short men with a very big uh, complex. Napoleon is actually not short. That is a famous uh, misconception. There have been times where I've pondered of Cyrax, and I, I obviously not, but I'd like to pretend that it, he's. Everything is calculated, and he's just the greatest actor of all time. And you know, like you might have to, you might be on house arrest for the next forty years. So he's got to figure out something to do at this time. That you could. Know? I mean, you know, I've seen crazier shit happen, but I'm going to lean towards that's not reality. But yeah. God, could you imagine the day if Cyrex takes off his hat and then takes off his head oh, and yeah. like a full head of hair underneath, yeah, yeah. Like a cap, yeah. and he takes the teeth out? And he's like, okay, guys, the head would literally I can't, can't keep this up anymore. It would be the spent thousands of dollars yeah. in makeup trying to quit fuel you guys. Uh, I, I would give him like a thousand bucks off the bat if that was the case. I'd be like, you, do, you are the greatest fucking like cough Kaufman esque fucking performance artist I've ever seen. Yeah, that if he's just it. trolling me the entire time, that will just be like if we're only a yeah, you're right. You'd have to retire, Marty. Yeah. You literally have to just get off the internet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I don't <laughs> guess what, Marty. Well, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> My real name is James Irway, and I am an accountant and I am really from Denver. Uh haha, gotcha guys. Um, Skyrex is actually just Sam Hyde doing another like deep cover like troll. <laughs> Oh man! Find the name of music biz Marty. <laughs> now, keep in mind, I did not know that that <laughs> was at the time. Yeah, I'm really this executive running a massive music label with big time office and a lot of artists underneath me. Um, and the amazing thing is, this has happened to Cyrax for 11 years. He's been dealing with this for 11 years. <laughs> how, many, how many record deals do you think it would take him to get before he says maybe the, maybe this isn't real? Um, because I've, I've seen him get involved in at least four or five since I've uh, started watching him. Yeah, uh, it's perpetual. I mean, it never clicks, and then when oh, no, 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 maybe, maybe this isn't legitimate. Uh, um, but hmm. This person kept on asking me to do some work with them. They were like, yo, like, I do music. I want you to check my stuff out. Like, I'd be willing to work with you. I got a label, everything like that. All right, cool. You know, 
email me your what you got and I'll check it out. Like email me a contract. I'll look it over. I'll get a lawyer and I will look it over. <clears throat> and you know, send me a link. I can check it out. Yeah, this is actually on a live stream. He was so geared up and just so excited at this major opportunity. And sure enough, he he, he find, I made able to finally get him the link and he placed it. <laughs> it's your 18 naked cowboys. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and uh, you know he's like, and he, he did some same thing then. They'll say today like, "Oh yeah, <laughs> nice try, Marty." <laughs> you know, he, I do remember that. Yeah. It's just been on ever since. Um, mm-hmm. There was a ceasefire where I tried. Smack, you were a, Cyre, a team Cyrex guy too, with Cyrex Nation. Definitely. Uh, um, and it's hard. He's he's it's because of people like Chance. We are the way we are, as he often likes to say about me. And I mean, I'd love to support him, but then he just like does a complete 180, and uh, and just fight. like it's very hard to. Uh, again, I, I kind of let the the bet thing go for a while, but then he, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know. The guy rubs me the wrong way, and not in a good way. No, um, I'm sorry, but you know. like, no, I was very intrigued. I was like, yo, like I'm very intrigued. Like some of these dudes, I'm gonna check it out. Turned out it was from um, this one dude, um, Grant McDonald. Yeah. Not Tom McDonald, but the other <laughs> yeah. McDonald. Dude. Norm McDonald. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> now, Old McDonald. Track or whatever. And I was Ronald? like, no, like, this is not me. Like, this is not what I'm about. <laughs> so I kind of turned down his offer. Kind of changing I was about like, them? Dude, like, this isn't for me. You know, are these chains up here? Oh, wait, I appreciate what you're doing, but this ain't me. Um, chains where? I'm not into okay. this kind of um, stuff. This is not what. My here, like, my, you see where my mouse is pointing? Like, above his head. To do. Oh. I want to put um, fucking Probably what? can relate to. I'd say wires? I like what I'm doing now. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Maybe wires, though? I don't know. And he kept on pushing. Yeah, they do kind of look like chains, okay. though. Sex dungeon. And literally, probably uses some for workout. Yeah, I got back on the stream. Yeah. <coughs> oh, the 151 is too strong tonight. Hey, thanks, Sandra. Need more Kool Aid. Oof. But you know, I got back on the stream the next day. With the yeah, it's been a while since I tinkered with that stuff. And yeah, you know, I go to work or whatever. Not my first go to, but it's from the house. Podcast, so yeah. I had to go to work. And then I hopped on and did my usual. That's when the Schmuckles passed by. Uh, I've been yelling all night. <laughs> nice. Like, this is from before that. So, like, at the time, I didn't know what to call it. So, I just started calling it whatever at the time. They just had random titles. They don't know why I can see the damn chains. Thing. It was just, you know, whatever. And I forget what I named it, but I was hanging out on there with some of the, some of the fans at the time that were on there. I love that he believes he has fans too, like true fans, not people who are interested in him or even like him, but people who are like, an, enamored like, with music. Very huge following. As someone, yeah. as someone who makes music, I hate using the term fan. Uh, I just like oh, people who like my thing. I don't. I don't. Like, I feel like it's like a certain level of uh, yeah. ego. I like, I like yeah. Like followers. Like the word yeah, followers I, and shit. I used to hate saying, oh, thanks for the follow. Like, you're not a fucking follower. Like, you're a viewer, you know? Like, I'm not a fucking, you know? I'm not, like, some type of uh No, Tonic tonic feels that way, which is yeah. mind-blowing. Um, yeah. I, I think it requires a certain amount of, like, ego. And I know that it's an apropos term, but it's just, like, I don't know, man. I just well, Marty, I am a diamond fuck. Well, that's actually been changed. I've seized the diamond fox. No, that's, that's right. I'm the diamond box. That's yes, right. yes. That's what I'm trying to do with the Cyrax Nation. Um, and I will yeah. go to Great Lanes to obtain what is mine. Oh, man, yeah. Uh, you definitely started it, man. Well, uh, the Cyrax Nation, yes. That is a fact. Um, he may be Cyrax. Doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I wouldn't have stuck around if it weren't for you, Marty. I'll definitely say that much because it's not his music that keeps me there. 
Well, thank you, Schmeckle Cat. That's that's too. Common. I mean, you help you you help the journey. I should say it's not all you, you know, but you've definitely helped the journey along. Um, Cyrex is alienating himself from pretty much everybody. He's just horrified, pretty much all people. But uh, you can't turn your your eyes away from him. I can't stop watching him. Like I was, you know, looking forward to seeing whatever the fuck this is here. Uh, uh, I really enjoyed his music with Marty. You're going to jail, thing. Um, yeah. yeah. And the call to the Cyrex Nation because he's had my name a thousand times, like five thousand. Yeah, I don't know why he's asking for it. I mean, I'm, I'm, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, who doesn't know Marty's name by now? I mean, like, unless that's legitimately not his name. I mean, he's been called out a million fucking times. So. He he's, said, he's, he's used it himself. Yeah, he said my at least a few hundred times. Uh, just the other day, I believe. He, he, yeah, he's got the first one now, but I, I don't know. I might have a difficulty getting the last one. Um, yeah. yeah. Which, you know, really makes me question if a guy with this limited brain capacity. He, the thing that stuns me about him is his relationship with Kate. They've had it for two weeks. He said the same thing about Heather. This girl is so amazing. I would do anything for her. He's been invested with this gal for two weeks, and, and he's this uh, head over heels. He's, he's, like, way too invested in uh, somebody. For I, I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't tell her he loves her. I said I love you to her. Like with him. He was calling... He was calling his uh, game mom. Brother. Yeah, I've seen that. If that's where you were going with it. Yes, I was. Like, yeah, she's an artist like me. Hi, ma. Love you. I was like, what? Whoa. Um, Shout out to my future mother-in-law. That's you know, kind of creepy. Love yeah, no, I've never even said that to mine. Like, Jesus Christ, no. No. Like, love you. I'm like, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> it's like, to be honest, like, I, I probably didn't even have to drive the hammer home. Her family was probably creeped out already, and. I mean, the thing that Cyrex doesn't really seem to get is that, you know, he's a public persona, whether he wants to be or not, unless he gets off the internet. So it's it's not like it's going to, like, eventually just, oh, no one's going to see all this shit and make their own mind up about it, you know? He thinks that it's just, oh, they're not going to pay attention and, you know, or they'll they pay go attention away. Yeah. either way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, as I'm sure as... Uh, you know, Caitlin, I'm sure her family's definitely uh, tries to look out for her uh, being, you know, who she is and uh, all. And um, I, just seeing Cyrex in his videos, I don't know how they could be anything but concerned, um, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not a parent, but I can only imagine having a daughter date That's... Chance Wilkins. Yeah, um, I'd rather have my daughter date a black man. I mean, a bad man, a bad man um, you know. Yeah, you were saying, like... Um... Well, I'm not sure what you were saying. Yeah, this, you know, I, there's a lot better choices out there than uh, Chance. Um, yeah, yeah, I would, I would have to agree with that. I mean, even Suplex. I mean, I, he's harmless. As bad as bad as it may be, I mean, I'd probably even rather probably respect a woman a bit more than uh, Cyrex would, and you know. And then you have to think like the shed is so much better than the basement. I'd agree, hundred percent. Yeah. I think he broke his TV recently. He claimed that it blew up. All right, probably hit it or threw the yeah. steering wheel at it. <laughs> um, I feel bad for Sally, Sally and Ed having to sleep above that. Uh, the, uh, like all hours of the night, uh, him just raging. Um, They're just right up the steps too. There's yeah. no way they can sleep in line. Uh, doesn't he have a double story house though? That's what I don't get. Right? Does he not have an upstairs like upstairs like a? Because I remember when the he got swatted one time, he told Heather, "Get upstairs," and they weren't in the basement; they were, they were on like the main level. So I, I'm assuming there's like an upstairs, upstairs to his house. There, I mean, yeah, there is an attic. Um, yeah, why doesn't he just go up? I would, I'd rather be up there than in the basement, especially in the winter time. It's gonna be cold. Yeah, um, it's a good point. Um, I don't know why he couldn't just. Well, obviously, uh, we know why he couldn't stay in the main floor because he's so much of a nuisance. Um, but yeah, I miss his old setup in his old room. I do as well, uh, but no pun intended. He is an underground artist, so <laughs> yeah, that's real cute. Literally, um, I do too, though. That's why I, I miss that door opening and Sally popping her head in, and yeah, yeah. And sorry, I was going in the other room, and Heather would get need one on one time with yes, yeah. It yeah. mm -hmm. was always a struggle to keep Cyrex isolated, so Heather could be turned against him. I agree. 
But yeah. now he's just, yeah, who's he got? He's already turned against his TV. Oh, I'm sure Sally's just probably pissed. Uh, who's he got left? I mean, sure, Kate's on the ropes now. I remember he, um, his, he was like yelling and scolding his dog one day and it bit him in the face. I do remember. Yeah, so that's how he got the new yep. surface. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 Um, I, that's kind of fucked up. I've yelled at my dog many of times. It's ne it never got aggressive towards me. Um, no, like if they're barking at something else, you know, hey, hey, hey. All right. It'll just, yeah. You know, yeah. Just snap your finger or something. <laughs> I mean, his dog was just like mildly you know, growling. How much of it in his fucking face was it? Shut up! I'm kicking fucking teeth down your throat. And then, <laughs> yeah. Face, so, yeah, I can only imagine. He had to be he had, like yelling at the fucking thing. Um, I heard that. I heard that they make the dogs meals. Like I heard they make dinner at their house, and then they feed the dogs the food, and then whatever's left over. They eat. <laughs> That's what Heather was saying, and then Cyrus like, "There's nothing wrong with the way Mom feeds dogs. <laughs> so, like, she'll make a meatloaf and cut it up." <laughs> fucking feed the dogs a plate of like meatloaf and mashed potatoes and corn and shit, and then whatever's left over, the family gets. No. <laughs> and then maybe Cyrex was fighting the dog for his dinner. He got bit. That's I have no idea. Are you serious? I I, 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 I put my hand on the Bible if I had one, dude. Um, you can ask Heather about that one if you can ever get in contact with her. Um, I would love to go find those videos. I don't even know what channel they'd be on if they were archived. But yeah, he was sitting in the kitchen one day. He's like. Um, family eats because I remember her complaining about how they feed the dog, and then he he defended his mother on a live stream. Yeah, <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the way she feeds the dog. Um, I would love to ask you about it. Sorry, Rex, like, should be worried about what she's feeding you. Yeah. Um, as far as his dining habits, I know recently when Sally was just off of bed rest. Um, she would be making hot pockets for chance while he was on his cybernetic tour. So the notion that he takes care of his ailing family is. Couldn't be farther from the truth. Um, fresh off of surgery, Sally is actually putting hot pockets in the microwave and, you know, waiting on his beck and call. Um, Probably crushing melatonin up in them. Yeah. Calm down a bit. Do you think Cyrax is resistant to the drugs? Do you, I mean, I've known some people who were like, you know, this deranged, and they felt like well, nice apparently uh, Cyrax is live. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Satan said it. I honestly think that some medication might help him, like in all seriousness, just to, like chill out a little bit because he just gets he does get very raged about some very crazy shit. Like I've put myself in his shoes for sure. Um, even in some situations, me and Schmeckle are me and Schmeckle and just life in general, and I, he just gets so pissed. Uh, way he just way too invested in things. Like one hundred percent. I got to see what Cyrax is saying. Uh, you know. Um, Anything <coughs> has returned. To me. You will bow down to me. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? The demon dick has returned. <laughs> this is why he's the best. This is why he is the great. Yeah, this is the this is the old Cyrax right here. Yeah, hang on one second. Here. Oh wait, he's in the fucking dark. And when you die. Oh yeah, you gotta go to the live one, Marty. When you're old and gray, yeah, yeah. your body. He's literally in the, it's a black screen, so don't think that. Yeah, I guess. Your soul will. What is he talking about? I think he's summoning something, bro. He's the demon king. Get behind bars, Marty. Oh, no. oh God, Marty. So I'm dealing with criminal charges. I'm dealing with civil litigation. I'm dealing with murder. And now I'm dealing with the demon king as well. Oh my God! Enjoy your freedom while you can. <laughs> You're gonna be eating bread and water. Your freedom. He he's he, he's doing this in his basement at four ten in the morning. For everything that you've done. This is too good. This is. And everyone that you've ever bullied. Chance, keep it down. You're gonna just hear something like her hitting her fucking floor, head, <laughs> stomping on the floor. Chance. Um, now he's gonna have to deal with the shadow god. You know, it's just it, uh, you got shadow blade is back. 
Yeah. You better get Tony on your side, uh, Marty. You could break me and Kate went up. Okay, there we go. Yeah. You were very wrong. Oh, shit. <laughs> I got to back up. Yeah, because I wasn't hearing. Fuck. I'm just going to go to the start here. I don't want to miss a second of this. <laughs> oh, my God. What a start. What's that fucking buzzing? That's I've, I've noticed it in this past couple of videos. There's a very loud buzzing, and now there's no lights on, so... I like how his, his dramatic uh, Demon King return was interrupted by Discord Pink. I think that was a Facebook. So, that's how we always start everything off. Little Marty. Little bitch music biz Marty. You probably won't click Caitlin up to watch this. <laughs> like, look at your man go. I got you, babe. Thinks that he's won. You're a fool, Marty. He <laughs> thinks you have it all. I can assure you, Marty, you're wrong. I think I have it all. He you thinks you've won. You think you've gotten one over on me. He <laughs> thinks you've destroyed me. No, I destroyed your relationship. Is, You've only gave me power <coughs> to destroy. Uh, can you put another comment on the screen to get rid of the Skull Kid Productions you comment? How do I do that? I'm not. Um, I'm not sure. I don't use Streamyard. I, 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 I thought just that's, that's what solved the problem. I'm not sure. I don't know how to use Streamyard. That's fine, dude. Don't worry about it. You know me, Marty. Yeah, I'm just. Uh... Yeah, don't worry. It's just stuck on my screen, that's all. Don't bother me that much, to be honest. It's just a black video we're watching anyway. Yeah. All you know is what you read about. <laughs> all oh, you know. What is he? Like in Rolling Stone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I read about in the papers. Then you don't know the truth. The papers. You wouldn't know the truth if they hit you in the fucking face. So he didn't beat his grandma. He didn't beat up Heather. He isn't this basement dwelling ADIQ man who has never earned an income in his life. Angry, aggressive. Yeah. Uh, life threatening, <laughs> lawsuit threatening. <laughs> yeah. Um, defamatory. Yeah, it's very defamatory. I'll laugh at you. Uh, uh, uh. Well, that's good. Yeah. I'm the joke. But really, Marty. You're the joke. Come on. You are the <laughs> joke. <laughs> <laughs> you say Here, that let's play a little game. All right. We'll, we'll play one Cyrex sentence and we'll take guesses what he's trying to say next. I think, like, like we're meant to be, like, we can finish each other's sentences. <laughs> Yeah. Just watching him for so long, you know what he's gonna say. Uh, yeah. I, I, I think coming up, I think what's gonna come next is a well. Guess what? <laughs> um, I'm gonna say, um, you think I fear you? Okay. That I am inferior. Oh, you got you got the word fear. Of reason. I do think he's incapable of reason. I beg to differ. <laughs> the only one incapable here is you, Marty. You. Oh, I think you know. I think he's return, responding to. What's that? I, I open up the stream with a uh, a clip from um, a social network uh, where Zuckerberg calls the Winklevoss twins incapable of coming up with the intellectual property of Cyrex. So, I mean, that's what I'm thinking he's getting at here. Um, you're saying like he's not capable of forming such an elaborate concept as a Cyrax Nation, which is a lot more than just putting Cyrax Nation and uh, a true Photoshop. It's more than that. Or the inferior one. What you call inferiority? 
and arrogance. I go, I call confidence. I don't think I've called him cocky recently. I mean, I do think he's cocky. Call me a lion. I call that irony. What? Well, he calls lying. Or what I call lying, he calls irony. What does that mean? (laughs) (laughs) What you? (laughs) That That one's over my head. Call me a lion. I call that irony. Hmm. Huh. You, Do you think he's going for hypocrisy? Yeah, maybe. I, yeah, probably. All right. I mean, possibly. Say I'm full of shit. <laughs> I say you need to look in the mirror. Huh. Well, he does beat his grandmother. Have you ever done that? No. And when you say I'm a coward, I just say I'm smart enough to hide in the shadows. <laughs> in the basement, yeah. <laughs> and wait for you should be doing the same, Marty. Uh-huh. What you call cowardice, I call smartness. Smart prowess. Smart. Top of score. Mm-hmm. What you call me running away, <laughs> I'm coming towards you. I call that surviving. Hmm. Hmm. I'd say that's cowardice. Yeah, it's he always talked about his fight or flight. What you call me getting angry with you? Response recently. <laughs> I call that payback. For what? Telling him that he needed to perform with Grab Your Battle. whole life on YouTube is an illusion, Marty. <laughs> it's a what musical you call it delusion. delusion. Yeah. I mean, delusion is a delusion. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I know what I'm doing. Um, I, I mean, yeah, it's not really complex. Yeah, you're not really playing 40 chess here. No. You think you know me. <laughs> you're only fooling yourself, coward. So now I'm the coward. You think I fear you, but I don't. What you call revenge... I call ammunition to use against you. I mean, I don't think you honestly believe this, though, Marty. Do you? I mean, like, maybe I'm wrong here, but do you, do you think that he fears you? I mean, like, um, no, I think he doesn't. I mean, well, no, because he really, I have already destroyed his relationship with Caitlin. Yeah. Uh, I mean, why would he fear you, though? You've never threatened him. I mean, no. that's what I'm saying. You've never done anything harmful to the guy or anything, so you'd have no like. No one should have a reason to fear you. I mean, I'm not saying that in a you know a bad way, no. but I'm saying like you're not a malicious man. I mean, why would anybody fear you? I mean, you know. Yeah, no. Again, I would, I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm just saying like you know, as far as like uh, malicious wise, I I don't get that. I don't know if he's. Sorry. I don't know if he's referring to the time that I had to save Heather. <laughs> um, you know that could. But he, he has a skewed perspective on that. I was just trying to prevent her from getting clobbered. Yeah. Right into my head. Oh. oh. See, when you attacked me, you gave me the ammunition to destroy you. How? When you did these things. Why is he calling out for the Cyrex Nation? So, to try to tear- so is he saying that he used his relationship with Caitlin as a trap? To lure me in to what's going to happen next. To, to finally get you behind bars. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, okay. He got honey potted. Yeah. yeah. He's the deep state, man. I'm telling you. More ammunition to fuck your world up with, boy. <laughs> See, you got it in your head. <laughs> yeah, you and Caitlin are dating. <laughs> yeah. We never split. Cyrex, that's what we want you to think. He he, he only made those videos where he's crying uh, as an epic troll. Yeah. What he doesn't understand truly <laughs> is that we know what Cyrex is like, and Caitlin's family and I and Caitlin had all had a talk together. We've decided to just kind of cater to him, to make him think that everything's okay. But Cyrex, as you'll know, as you will definitely know, 
you don't have to ask anyone because you've experienced this. She has almost ceased all communication with you and you are not dating her anymore. Now, who do you think she's dating? I'd like to think me. It could be that Kayvon guy. It could be being two times at the same time. I don't know. Maybe Tyler and Y. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, that would hurt kind of. I, you know, I, if Tyler and Y would betray me like that, that would be hurtful. But. By the way, uh, he did this whole Demon King get uh, like gimmick on Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> so the Demon, Demon King, the Demon King returns quite a bit. The really? Gets, uh, I think I may I may have missed that one. Yeah, he did it, and he ended it with a jump scare where he's like, "If you want to survive, you have to run." And he didn't end the stream right away. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm kind of mad. I, I have to go back and no, that that was deleted, yeah, wasn't deleted. it? Yeah, yeah, that was deleted, wasn't it? Uh, but basically, he did he did it first, and he's like, "You have to run," and he disappears from the camera. But he didn't end he the stream. Right? So then he came back. It's yeah, just, oh, survive yeah. again, run. Hmm. He has some good cinematic value. Like when he first came in, you know, you could see him in, in the shadow. And then he, just, you know, hides back in the shadow. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just looking at a black screen here, basically. Yeah, being the Shadow King seems to me to hide from your problems. Still together. And no matter what you say, no matter what you do, you will never break the bond that me and her have we already so have sorry break us apart two week bond the only delusional one here marty is you yeah and guess what <laughs> see when you angered me the other day mm -hmm. You released a sign that I thought I had long forgotten about. <laughs> oh, shit, Dude, Marty. you literally did it in the uh, fucking <laughs> Halloween. Walked away. Yeah, it seems a little recycled. Right. <laughs> and now that time has come. You better watch out, boy. Marty. Okay, and I have to explain something for, for people who haven't followed Sardex as long. Um, this is all just a, a, a manipulation tactic to get people to feel bad for him. Because he was doing this Demon King thing on Halloween while him and Caitlyn were together, right? We, you know, so I, I don't understand how people, I, I can't understand how people feel bad for him just by looking at him. Um, but beyond that, there is no reason whatsoever. No. Allow me to reintroduce you to your nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> the renewed. And reborn <laughs> king of the demons. I, I smell this track coming. <laughs> ah, I'm thinking. Or more commonly known as Shadowblade. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, look at it. Whoa. What do you want, Marty? Your demise? Oh, I'm so fucking slow tonight. He's upon you. And when the moment is right, I am a little creeped out. You will fall. <laughs> you think I fear you? You will fall. But I don't. I'm seeing this is kind of spooky. I laugh at you. <laughs> when he comes in and out, it is kind of scary. I laugh at your inferiority. I laugh. At your incompetence. You want to see that outside your house one night, Marty? <laughs> the car's I'd love to, man. He's going to rub you his teeth arrogance. to your windows. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot through your deadbolt. You call me being a little shit. I call that outsmarting you and everything. I do call him that a lot. <laughs> I do call yeah, yeah, him yeah. that a lot. <laughs> he is a little shit, though. <laughs> yeah. Fucking goblin. <laughs> <laughs> you're a fool, Marty. If you think you're gonna escape the king of the demons, run all you want, little boy. Sorry, X, I would love to talk with you with any and every you. opportunity. You know that. Well, face to face would be goddamn amazing. Yeah. And I have your whole car. Apparently, the ending is very good. You will. 
Hey, he says he has his, my my career in his grasp. Like I don't I, I don't understand that. Your music career? <laughs> I, yeah, I. You're done as a CEO, Marty. <laughs> You'll never work in the music industry again. Your name is tarnished. <laughs> you have been shunned. Bow to <laughs> me and to Caitlin. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Your career will be over. Kaylin clearly doesn't give a shit about his music. I would love to see what she thinks about this. Like Marty Bowser, he's going down on her Cyrex. Um, the vibe that I got from her was she said that whenever I asked her about Chance Music, that it's therapeutic for him. Um, you know, like when when she was trying to find something positive to say about it, and I guess it is an outlet for him. Um, but it's definitely not a career. It's like a therapy horse that a slow kid pets to feel better. Um, it, it doesn't make you a jockey. I would have asked her what her favorite song was. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to give her a jingle. Uh, Sorry to wake you. Uh, <laughs> Cyrex? <laughs> uh, Caitlin, what's your opinion on the Talking Wrench, the classic? The talking Wrench is dope as fuck. I like it. I like yeah. it. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> It's one of my favorite pieces of his art catalog. Um, I always wanted to see him do his pitching motion. Um, he, he would never do it. His what? The way he throws a baseball? Yeah, he. Claimed- yeah, I was just thinking about that. Um, yeah, he claimed to be a very good, uh, a very good baseball player. Yeah, he would have made it to the major leagues if it wasn't for his high school coach uh, being all politics, <laughs> which I don't even know what that means. <laughs> like, was he trying to repress white people? Uh, was he trying to repress? Like, who was he? What, what was his agenda? You know, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's just trying to win baseball games. Of course, chance will blow it out of proportion. And then who's a victim of? I'd be afraid, like he'd pick up a bat and start like going after somebody, or like start throwing like like wild pitches at like fucking people and shit, man. Well, the thing is, he has weak wrists and is incapable of harming anybody. Yeah, like he probably couldn't reach the 90 feet from him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what they actually could have used him for? Uh, they could have put him in as like a pinch hitter. And since he's a midget, he'd have such a small strike zone. Maybe they could use him as a T. <laughs> I mean, I think the most appropriate thing would be a mascot. Yeah. You know what I was just thinking of too? Maybe the coach was like, people were thinking you're the mascot and you know, or, or <laughs> not a good image for the team. But do you really want that to represent your school? Yeah, right. <laughs> well, you, have you seen him throwing peanuts in the stands? Would you get a bag from him? <laughs> I do think that'd be pretty dope. Like, a, a team has a problem with a, say, an anti Native American mascot. You just become the Cyrax. <laughs> you know? Like the Washington High Cyrax. <laughs> Washington High Shadow Demons. Yeah, like he can, <laughs> he can, he can compose the, the 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 fight song. You know, he can do all that shit. I think you should come on stream in blackface as Shadow Demon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just to, like fit the part as the sh- like his war paint. Uh, I think that'd be great. Um, Somebody's got to get that to go. Maybe grab some, like, scrape his finger on the floor, get some of the dirt, and put it like a scrape on underneath his eye. There's plenty um, of dirt down there. With, like the sludge or whatever's going on down there, the dust. <laughs> oh, my God. For what you've done, Marty. And believe me, I spoke to Caitlin today on the phone. Oh, shit. Me too. <laughs> He's about to go live again? No. I mean, I got to sleep at some point. <laughs> you know, but I can't. I'm going to well, be and just do it early morning coffee and chill. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bounce after this video because it's almost 5 a.m. Right yeah, on. I question your commitment, Skull Kid. Uh, right right question on. my mental health, uh, and we're probably both right. You can never break the bond that me and her have. <laughs> Our bond is unbreakable. No matter what you say, no matter what you do, you will always be inferior to me. I don't know. I like to think that I had some chemistry for the you first time talking with Caitlin Cyrex. To me. And more importantly, you I mean, unfortunately, I don't date special Olympian martial artists. 
And I can assure you, you will rest behind bars where you belong. And when you die, mm -hmm. when yeah. you're old and gray and your body's rotting in the ground. But he thinks I already am old and gray. <laughs> so maggots are feasting away at your flesh. Jesus Christ. Your soul. Yeah. Tell him you're getting cremated. Joke's on him. Hmm. What is his new live stream's title? You will sit behind yeah, bars, Marty. Let's see. I really want Cyrus to start his own cult where he's like the demon king and they have to like bow down. Uh, it does say getting ready. Uh, the new stream is called. Um, the new stream's called Marty Don't Own Shit. All in caps. Wait, Marty, Marty, what? Don't own shit. I can, <laughs> okay. I can link it for you right. if you want. All right. Uh, yeah, he's got a waiting room up. Uh, yeah, it just says waiting on Cyrex. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll link it for you. <sighs> Your freedom will be stripped from you. And you will sit behind bars for everything that you've done to me, to Caitlin, her family, and everyone that you've ever bullied. Cyrex, you accused me of murdering a woman. You accused me of murdering a woman. I warned a disabled woman who has had a history of abusive relationships, family, about your history. Like, what do you think is... Uh, so sorry to even bring it up, but he asked for nudes as well after her... Yeah, yeah, after yeah. Her death, dude. yeah. Right, right, right. Like, yeah, Just in like, general, though, is kind of fucked up, you know? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so to, like to ask anyone like for their access nudes, super creepy. You know, even like if you barely knew them and see them, and uh, uh, had an eye for somebody, and, yeah, and um, it's super creepy. Very creepy. But yeah, then to ask like knowing that they're dead, and then like the time frame, because I think it was like days after. Um, just mind blowing. Did I ever tell you guys about how I got Cyrex to say that he uh, was a big fan of Mind Conf? <laughs> uh no no uh, so I was, <coughs> this wasn't on stream or anything he was calling me and i was like uh, hanging out and uh i was just because he does this thing where i'll mention a thing and i'll be like yeah no i fuck with that but he won't be able to name a specific part of the band or something I'm, oh I'm, yeah of course uh, so i'm like yeah no I, i'm a big fan of uh this thing called uh mine uh this band called mine comp do you like that and he's like yeah man i fuck with mine comp <laughs> <laughs> jesus christ i, I love i love carl marx yeah, he, he's escalated into race war participation. You know, he's just uh, a little suggestible. Um, Hi, friend. Yeah, I join the clan. <laughs> <laughs> nice, 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 nice. You thought you could stop me, but you were wrong. Very wrong. Okay. <laughs> and Apparently, you're we have a jump scare at the end. Hmm. You know, he's just... Oh, uh, yeah, no, at the end of the other one. Like, oh, go back good. to the ending of the... Uh, um, oh, shit. Uh, join the clan. Um, apparently, there's a jump scare at the end. Oh, uh, I gotta see this shit. Uh, go back, like, a minute. A minute okay. or so. Oh, I, I love these uh, false jump scares. <laughs> you also allowed me to create good music that people enjoy. So you helped him. So, wait, are these just three viewers for the whole... So, Marty. Okay. Okay. Um, 4.30. Because the Demon King Shadow Blade is coming for <laughs> you. And I will not stop. <laughs> and I will not rest until you and your career are sitting behind bars where you belong. For everything you've ever done to me, and everyone you've ever hurt. Mm. Mm. It's payback time, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, Spinky's quote here. That's a great, that would have been a great bet for what he's going to say next. There it was. He just missed it. The oh, rock. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, that it was, was quick. <laughs> oh, fuck. that's what he did on Halloween twice because he fucked it up the first time. Does <laughs> he come back here? Or is he? Oh, oh he's doing his giggles. <laughs> <laughs> Run like a game, boy. That's 
vaguely uh, sexual assault kind of connotations there. Get over here, boy. It's <laughs> hmm. <laughs> 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 <That was> amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so it's such a weird the way when, when he says boy it just makes me think of deliverance with like the white rapist fucking hillbillies and shit. i belong to music biz marty <laughs> uh well it was a trip hanging out with you marty and, yeah, cool. uh, Good things, man. Thanks for oh, yeah, you man. sleep but you guys have fun with the uh the rest of the uh the stream here um, uh Take it easy, guys. And, yeah, you do uh, the same, bud. Later, yeah. Have a Take good night. Uh, I love it. It seems like this <laughs> this image. He's in distress here. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, his scalp uh, is doesn't look too marked yet. He's got his hand in his uh his his, his well, I would say it's his chin in his hand, but he's got his face in his hand. Um. Yeah. Hmm. Well, what's going on, Cyrus? Where are you at? Waiting for, waiting for you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's the Cyrex name and the Scarface name. I mean, come on, how original is that? I mean, Scarface. I mean, I think I saw some of this. I love his very suicidal music. I lost in the emptiness and the sounds of the answers. <laughs> oh, so he's doing the Scottish gig now, or is this the Demon King? Like, what is? A magic, yeah. So, lost inside the answers. Every day it seems like <laughs> you run around me. Did he, did he go R&B on us, or? No, what is it? I really understand the way all the words <laughs> whoa, that whoa. say. Nobody really understands what it's like to walk on the edge of life and death every day. <laughs> You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, like walking on the edge of life and death every day because a woman that you've been talking with for two weeks dude, on the internet, I yeah. don't think that really qualifies. He sits in the basement. He doesn't even leave his house. How is he walking on the life? Uh, yeah, how is he walking on the edge of uh, anything? I don't know. But we, we, got, we got Sally to admit that I never went to the hospital. Run inside to be in my shoes to walk between the lines when they turn in the team and you don't understand. Every day when I look in the mirror, I don't see an angel, I see a demon staring back at me. Then I turn to That's just the way you look, man. On my shoulder. <laughs> And I don't know what to do. Should I listen to the angel? Should I listen to the demon? I don't know what to do. I'm so lost inside the sound, lost inside the answers. I'm so fucking scared. If I listen to the angel, when I go to heaven, if I like, I, I'd like Cyrex just to ask him this, like, just to imagine. That this music wasn't made by him or one of his friends that he's met on the internet, and he just heard it on the radio. Yeah, if this would be something that he would think was good. Oh uh, yeah, I can I just guarantee. He, oh yeah, definitely, man, definitely. I fucked with it. Do you think so? No, I think no. I think that's what he would say. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Of course. I mean, he's not gonna. Yeah, of course he'd praise it, even if it wasn't him in that shoot in his, you know someone else's shoes. Of course he'd still say. Uh, yeah, man. Of course, I I definitely uh, listen to it. He, uh, what was I gonna say? Huh. Um, it's better than tonics, though. I'll, oh yeah, I'll, that's I'd what rather listen to that. You read my mind, Michael. You read my mind. Shit, that fucking tonic produces whatever the fuck he produces. Cyrex actually heard tonics music and scolded him and told me it was a disgrace. <laughs> and like tonic was heartbroken. Like, is he? I don't he yeah, he was like, I respect you, Cyrex is a man, an artist, like, I just like to hear what you think, and Cyrex made him stop it halfway through the song, he's like, no, 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 wait, <laughs> Tonic was legitimately heartbroken. Yeah, well, he shouldn't, it's fucking terrible, no, it's literally fucking noise. 
Yeah. Um, I can't I can't bear it. I can't bear to listen to it personally. <laughs> I'm, I'm a fan of his music. I'll tell you that. It's kind of like I see my own death in my head walking the line between life and death every single day. It's what I fucking do and I don't understand how I got put in a sight to die on me. Why do I need to be the one to walk the line between life and death? Yeah, he's basically, this whole album is dedicated to how Music Biz Marty is <laughs> forcing me to commit suicide. Yeah. Um, yeah, when I heard him say he almost ended his life the other night with, uh, I, I just thought that, like, yeah, again, over a two-week relationship, I mean, it couldn't have been that good. Uh, he said they sat and watched, like, Netflix or something together. I mean, come on, dude. Um, it's, it's over the internet as well. Yeah, uh, I guess so. I'm getting messages right now saying sorry, X is live right now. I'm telling everyone to flag my stream. No way. Yeah, um, multiple messages. Here's what I don't understand. Uh, yeah, let me refresh it. Uh, no, I still got the waiting for. I still got the waiting for Scarface shit. I get well, like mm -hmm, interesting. Really, um, I guess there's like some people have uh, inside Cyrex information. Um, is he live? I I got I still got um I'll ref, I'm gonna research his name um uh, let's see here Scarface oh yeah he is he is live okay well perfect um you know he is live yes he is welcome respite from his howling his incessant hooting and hollering um yeah it says report the fuck out of Marty is his stream yeah, what he doesn't understand is. It has to be a first party copyright complaint. Like if you don't own the music, you can't really flag it. So he should be doing it himself. Um, but you know, whatever. Oh, and by the way, y'all are gonna love this shit. Marty don't own shit. No, it's called oh, uh, it's called you know, we'll take the fuck out of Marty. It's called defending myself, bitch. The fuck out of here. What just happened? What is up? What is up? What is up, guys? Yo, I know I just did that creepy ass video. <laughs> yeah. And Marty, I know you're probably gonna be watching this, so you bitch boy. Oh wait, no, never mind. I don't want to get AIDS or anything. Like your brother? Yeah. I know you probably got it. Yeah. And quite frankly, I don't want it. <laughs> oh, sorry. I see the penis fungal but infection, no, and you I know. need everyone mm -hmm. the fucking Cyrax me. <laughs> I own which I shouldn't have to prove again, Marty. I don't show the proof monkey dance. I need everyone in the motherfucking Cyrax nation that I own, which I shouldn't have to prove again, Marty. Mm. I don't show the proof once before, dog. You think I'm stealing your brand? Try again, motherfucker. I He's talking like custom now. Yep. You're stealing from me. Not to mention that's more to add to it. Your add to what? Your sentence. Yeah. Now you have to add theft into the list of charges. Yeah, the lawsuit, or this going to Sardex the executioner, or Sardex the demon king. You know, like I don't know who I'm dealing with. Infringing on my rights. Uh, well, let's see, uh, copyright infringement and trademark infringement. So, I don't yeah. think you have Star Wars Nation trademark. But yo, I need every motherfucker right now in the Cyrax Nation go report that video of Marty's. Report Which one? The fuck out that shit. Let's get this punk ass taken down. <laughs> <laughs> it's rallying the troops at four thirty in the morning. Yeah. Let's get this punk ass bitch taking the fuck down, y'all. Let's go. Come on, Cyber Get the Nation. fuck out of him, dude. Reporting for cyberbullying, reporting for whatever you want. Go over to his channel. I like Cyrax the leader here. Hey, guys, what's it doing? What's <laughs> cats rapping about? What's goody? Yeah, well, here's the deal. 
we got to be taking down that old man music biz Marty. So get all your hepcats together and let's powwow and it's time to rumble. Could you not report him for telling people to go report you? Um, I mean, I that, that could be like a violation right there. I mean, having people false flag somebody. Um, I don't really care. You no, know? I don't. <laughs> yeah. the fuck down his channel. Report the fuck down his channel and let's get this punk ass taken down, y'all. It's time to get a little payback on the bitch bully that wants to attack people. And Marty, <laughs> you don't own jack shit, fuckbag. <laughs> I definitely do. You won. By vaccination. Better run, fuckbag. I think he's drinking his own feces. Oh, that's my Jenkins jar. I want every motherfucker right now. Go over to his channel and report the fuck out of his live stream. I'm about to stretch. I'm about to spread this all over to Facebook as well. <laughs> oh no. His new Facebook. Yeah, so Sardax, like I don't really care about views, but you're essentially just promoting my channel. You know, you know I don't really up, Marty. Hmm. Oh, fucked up, boy. And you slipped up <laughs> by making that live stream. Yeah, one, you recorded me without my knowledge, which is a crime because I didn't give you permission to restream my stream. Unfortunate, Sardex. And also, trademark infringement, copyright infringement, oh, and cyberbullying. So, y'all head on over there, report the fuck out of his video. The link's right there in the chat. So, uh, am I technically smash? Am I under siege right now? I mean, I'm not even looking at the comment section. Sorry, guys, but uh, uh, um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess <I'm, laughs> this is the calm before the storm, and impending doom is on my way. Was he not just like telling you that he's gonna fucking swallow your soul? And he told you the other day to put a yeah. gun to your head and pull the trigger. But he's talking about cyberbullying, huh? It's, so this is the demon king. Interesting. Yeah. Bring back the demon king. This is. Hard to take seriously. Yeah, report, and let's bring this. Yeah, I'll better when he's in the dark. Let's go, y'all. Because the Cyrax Nation and the like up to <laughs> in the morning. Back, baby. It's you thought you could stop me, Marty? Yes, again. Hell yeah, stretch. That's my dude. Yeah, yeah. suck everybody. You're awesome, dude. Like bring this bitch ass cyber bully down and show him what this community is really about. You just said you wanted to leave the community the other day. What are you doing? I have no idea. He said, fuck this community. I'm out. I hate you guys. Now he's like, yeah, let's see what this community can do. Yeah. I'm about to post this shit to Facebook. So if y'all got me on Facebook, Clarence, what you don't understand is you are stealing my brand. I don't know who to complain to about that. I'm sure I could send an email that will go nowhere. And, you know, I'm not sure how that will affect your life. If you get my channel taken down, I really don't give a shit about it. I've destroyed your relationship, and that is satisfying enough for me. I've also stole your woman away from you. All right, Marty. You lose. <laughs> I got to clip that. I'm calling back and clipping that one. You lose money. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that tagging? That's me. I'm literally tagging people in this shit. To get Body's going to come back as a lawyer. You're not going to believe this, but there's been some communication with Body money. recently on Facebook, and he has actually turned against Cyrex, at least for the time being. Yeah, uh, you know he always reverts back and not buying it, not buying it, Marty. It's just phase eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not buying it. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I hope it's at least phase like six. I know it's a nine phase plan, but we've been yeah. rused once. I'm not gonna let it happen again. I'm just going through so much of my life right now with Cyrex suing me, having me arrested, killing me, stealing my soul. Um, it's, it's, you know, I just I just can't take much more. I'm about to snap. I don't blame you. <laughs> Here, give me that. <laughs> give me that. Uh. 
Don't kill me my new tax message. You lose, bitch. Just kill me my new tax message. I swear to God. I'm not as... I'm going to take my I'm just going to hold my uh, my phone up to my computer here. Uh, um, I'll send you a good clip of it. All right, all right, all right. I got you. There's money. <laughs> Sorry, Marty. You lose, bitch. I just think of that fucking wrench when I hear that laugh. You wouldn't think I wasn't going to catch your ass. Uh, bitch, please. You got gangster on you. Yeah. I can't you, Marty. <laughs> He's violently tagging people at 4 a.m. People are looking at their phones hey, going off. What the yeah. fuck is this? What the fuck is Marty, dude? You <laughs> gotta go on and board this guy, Marty, for restreaming my live stream. <laughs> What a demand and four in the morning. Like Caitlin's parents and shit on her fucking face. Yeah, like Can you fucking... imagine being woken out of your sleep like by a tag? Like, hey. That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just fucking unfriend you or just like silently yeah. really fast. Like, yeah. <laughs> She's like so he's tagging, people? tagging Joe Rogan and shit. Yeah. It's a bunch of random people. This bitch Roy really thinks he's gonna get away with this. Mm. Yes, again. Oh, and for all y'all that ain't know, uh oh, y'all are gonna love this. <laughs> oh, video unavailable. What does that mean? Uh, that means I uh, it got either deleted or flagged itself. I believe. So got if you refresh it, it'll probably come up unavailable again. You know, let's, oh, dude, let's check it out. So his video got taken down for harassment and bullying. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yep. His definitely. Yep. His video has been. Yep. This is the video has been removed from YouTube. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, my God. That is fucking brilliant. Oh, well, there you go. That's why you have to, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can't just go threaten people like to go tag someone's video for like no reason and shit like that. Like, yeah, there you go. Oh man, I'd love to be a fly. Sally's gotta be awake right now. His TV's definitely probably broken at this point. Um That is incredible. I mean, I I, I think whoever did this, that's just absolutely mind blowing. <laughs> fucking applaud that, yes. Um, My vaccination has come through again, guys. Me, Good job. Let me see if I can get a hold of him on Discord. <laughs> I think he's blocked me, but um, actually, you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. Um, he's got this secret Facebook that he doesn't know that I know about. I'm gonna, call <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call him on that right now. <laughs> oh, that's great! How yeah. the fuck you get? To? That's what I want. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell him that I have friends high up on YouTube. Uh, and you know, I guess. Tell me, paid Mark Zetterberg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Money talks, Cyrex. Somebody's gonna get a hold of this guy. Oh yeah, I, have, I haven't had communications with him in forever. Um. Here, um, let me let me find this. Anybody um, possibly have his uh, cell? No, he broke his phone. He raged out and. Uh, <laughs> Well, there's a homework guy on the internet. Through his TV, through the phone at the TV and double whammied it. Yeah, okay. So I, I've got the name here. Unfortunately, it's like a fairly common one. Um, uh, shit here. Um, I got to find his profile, I guess. Okay. He's going to be pretty irate, I would imagine, right about now. Whoever did this is an absolute. It's going to be livid. Yeah. I only had this channel less than a week. (laughs) 
Oh, wait, I know. I, okay, I have an easier way to do this, I believe. Um, Fuck it. Okay, you... okay, I got it. 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 You imagine him waking Sally up. You know what he did now, Mom? <laughs> what the, what's going on, Chan? Okay, I just sent him a, a, a request to message. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> he's back! He's back! He's back! Shit. All right, here, good shit. All right, <laughs> all right, all right. I'm, I'm in for the ride tonight. Let's see. Uh, shit! Not try again. Right, I'm going to go over to his channel <laughs> and continue reporting. Oh, man. That's so great. You're damn right we died because that little punk ass decided to try to report my stream. Uh, I got a strike for a copyright infringement. It was only a warning, though, so no big deal. Just a warning. Just a warning. So, wait, he got a copyright strike, did he say? Uh, yeah, he said it just oh, yeah, copyright you know, I want everyone to go over there right now. Oh, there's more harassment. <laughs> Guys. Yeah, it was strong, but it was just a warning. Guys. <laughs> <coughs> I want y'all to head over to his channel, report the fuck out of his channel as many times as you guys can, dude. Like, I don't want you guys just sitting up on here in the chat. I want you guys to go over there. That's harassment. Do the right thing. Bring this bully down. Report his channel itself. Report his videos. Report everything you can. Let's bring this punk ass down. Cause that's exactly what I'm doing right now. While I'm talking to y'all, I'm reporting the fuck out of his punk ass. He's unflappable. Let's go back here. <clears throat> All right, I stepped away for a second. <clears throat> Guess what? Well, honestly, I'm tired of being bullied around. I'm tired of being pushed around. How am I? I mean, he's like calling for war, you know. I'm just commenting on. Yeah, he's telling people to false flag you. Yeah, yeah you're making false murder accusations. I'm literally reporting every one of his videos right now. Well, damn it, we lost the laugh. Does that pertain to me anyway? I got it. 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 It's like a shitty copy, but it's all we got. Fuck. <laughs> 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 yes. 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 Good shit. yeah it's so lucky he lives marty he's <laughs> 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 not told even more cartoonish <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> Let's go. So what is he doing now? Just watching me watching him? <laughs> Let's do it, y'all. Let's do what this fucking community was built on. Standing up against fucking bullies, man. Well, you said you wanted to leave the community. <laughs> <laughs> I got something for y'all. I love the side of Cyrex. I do. He's got energy. Yeah. It's keeping me up right now. I like it. Yeah, he's got charisma. I'm telling you, man. He's got that heart. Mm hmm Small guy, but he's got a big heart. We got this, fam. So we got to be about to scatter our way to the top. Man. This is for the entire motherfucking Cyrex nation. All right. Here we go. Here. <laughs> right, come on. Please put some beats on. Put a beat on. <laughs> uh, little bitch. 
My content was removed for copyright infringement. Really, Mark? No, it was bullying and harassment. Oh. Am I missing yeah. something? I think he's slow to the game. Isn't that why he's... <laughs> what is he talking about? <laughs> I mean, he's he's just making it up. He had a strike? <laughs> he's just making it up. Here. I gotta get in there. I gotta get in there as an alt, too, yeah. That's what I'm doing. That's exactly what I was gonna do. This right here. This right here. This for the entire Cyrax nation. Anybody out there who's ever been bullied? Shout out to Serve on this one. I do not own the rights to this oh, okay. song. All rights go to Serve. This for the entire Cyrax nation. I stand up against these bullies, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I can do without this. Um. Yeah, yeah. But, okay, I got good news. Okay. Yeah, I muted it. <laughs> I believe I gotta unpause and pause the video. His face is too awkward right now. All right. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Oh. oh. Is it starting up a new one? What's he doing here? I'm going to put the fucking video on. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I can deal without that for a bit. Oh, my shit going on? Nah. Hmm. So I guess I'm stealing content of Cyrax stealing content. Uh, it's a reaction video. Yeah. As long as we uh, keep reacting to it, not to sit here and play it, I'm, I'm sure it's I'm sure it's legit. Yeah, I'm gonna give Cyrax like ten minutes to, to start getting into like his spiel again. Like, I gotta want to just watch him watch. Yeah. Yeah. Shitty fucking music videos. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I like some of the music, but definitely not at like five five a.m. and shit. I'm trying to like relax, not get all amped up. When does this guy sleep? Like I like I seen him. Uh, there was a video, he, I think it was like about 7.30, and his mom called and he said, all right, I just got up. All right, bye. So it's got to have a pretty, uh, just a pretty off fucking sleep schedule. I mean, I'm not going to talk. I'm up at fucking 5 a.m. myself. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm questioning my sanity at this point. <laughs> yeah. You know, you can you can question Star X all you want. Um, That's true. I'm not one to, you know. I've always had an unhealthy obsession with this guy. Yeah, Canada's right. Um, if he's not careful, he'll get on their strike, then he won't be able to stream for a while and we all lose. Um, there we go. Yeah, oh, shit, I didn't even see that up there. Um, of course, I'll make another channel. Yeah. But still. Man, he's so invigorated. Like, he thinks he's taking down Marty, uh, blasting Disturbed, talking like a weird hipster. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, he's got the Demon King going. Like, He's just his mind is so full of wonder. It is. Again, he just focuses and invests in things way too much. Uh, it's definitely one of his downfalls. Uh, he could have walked away probably uh, like a year ago, but here we are today. Um, you know, I'm not even going to talk about if Cyrex ended. His, no, I'm not even. Gonna discuss no, that. I don't even want to think about it. Yeah. Yeah, that would be a dark day in YouTube. Um, that can't happen. No. Like legitimately. This is really uh, some of the best that we've got now. I mean, we lo we lost our fucking, uh, lost one of the great ones already. If that was the case of Cyrex, then yeah, I probably wouldn't even fuck with like YouTube at all. What's the point? Dude, I would, uh, how great would it be if it just if this just goes down? That's the perfect ending. Hopefully it happens in the next like five minutes. Um 
The suicide? <laughs> no, it's <laughs> no, it's no, no, it's a strike. It's a strike. <laughs> yeah. I was like, they had the chains hanging from the ceiling earlier. Maybe that was. Like, <clears throat> I'm telling um, you, Shelly literally sleeps right at the top of that. Oh, that'd be great. She came down. Turn it down. <laughs> He's no regard. You think Sally and Ed bang? I mean, I know they're an older couple, but. Have you seen the video where they. Pretty much tell Cyrex they're about to have sex. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think I remember that one. All right, here I'm gonna. What was in, what was implied? I mean, what what would you guys give for yourself? What did she say? Chance, I need you to be go downstairs for the next time. You're, you're gonna love this. Don't come upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh yeah, the nap video. You hear me? What? Did you hear what I said? No, what? We're laying down, take a nap. All right. Don't come in that room. All right. <laughs> Don't come in that room. We know Ed's gonna be coming in that room. Yeah, I've always wondered so much about Ed. I have too. I'd love to fucking like have a sit down with him. Like, how did he even get wander upon Sally and, and Chance? Um, his first impressions of Chance when he met him. Um, I have got so many questions. Yeah, I mean, watching... What is Musinex? Oh, I, okay. I guess, like, a sort... Watching Chance watch... Musinex is, like, for sinuses, I believe. Huh. For colds and shit. Uh, the L'Oreal Kids Classic Classic Games of Canada video he did uh, brought back some memories from when I was a little kid. Goddamn Classic Games. Uh, uh, the L'Oreal Kids fucking uh, shampoo video or whatever it was. They're like, he's like, let's see the tears. Where are the tears? And he takes this shit down. The, the commercial was for like a no tears shampoo. And then they have Cyrax. Where's your tears, Cyrax? And he takes his hands down. Nothing. You know, yeah, cool. it's, it's insulting, you know, like it's just stop being such a little shit. As, yeah, I'll, I call you that, Sarex, because that's exactly what you are. There's no yeah, other. his fake crying is unbelievable. I think that's I, this is one of his worst qualities about him. I hate when he does that. It just sounds so fake and insincere to begin with, and there's never any tears. Never any tear. No. Uh, the fact that classic used the L'Oreal kids thing is the the thing that I loved about that video. It was great. Brought back some good memories. Yeah, I was more of a, uh, a Johnson's and Johnson's guy. Yeah. Well, I didn't use this shit. I just remember the commercials. Uh, I, I mean, come on. You're a five-year-old. You don't have to act like such a tough guy. You had some no. No, no, right. No, I'm not saying. I, well, I don't even remember what I used when I was five. I probably just used anything to do, like dish soap. I don't know fucking Audi. I was like five years old. Just wash my hair with a goddamn bar of soap or something. I don't know. No, no, I, remember I, having, like, I remember having the shampoos with like the fucking character bottles and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. Maybe that is like Johnson and Johnson. I don't remember the brand though. I think it is. I think it might be. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna see if Cyrax is. Uh... Yeah, I was gonna say let's check in on him. See if he's still playing music. Yeah. Oh come on. <laughs> oh come on. Yeah. It's looking like it's probably gonna be one of those type of streams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too late. Too late for me to uh, embark with him on this journey. Um, I completely agree. Uh, I'm really pissed. I hope that video does come back. I want that that laugh of you. I'm glad you got it. But uh, yeah, here I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, here. Let me let me let me cue it up here. <laughs> oh man, that was great. Fucking <laughs> 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 okay, <sorry>, guys. <laughs> 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 That's great. Clip that down. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's getting late. All right. Uh, so much love as always. God bless you, sir. Uh, yeah, thanks for having me, man. Yeah, everyone, thanks for tuning in. Uh, sorry I didn't really read the chat. I was just trying to get through a bunch of Cyrax. Um, it's great. getting late here. Um, Same. Yeah, next time. All right, guys. Bye, guys.